the Nelson Shah missile-led MDC alliance will tomorrow hold a crucial meeting to deliberate on a possible new name for the party, ahead of the March 26 by-elections and the 2023 plebiscite, after their nemesis, the MDCT led by Douglas Munzara, laid claim on any name, with the acronym MDC. MDC Alliance presidential spokesperson Guglielmo Sabanda confirmed the Monday meeting to the Standard. The party will hold a crucial meeting to resolve that issue. You may ask our National Party spokesperson Fadzai Mahir for further clarification, because I only speak on behalf of the president. She will also make an official announcement after the meeting Sabanda said. Mahir said the party would, at the appropriate time, set its position to the people. The party is ready for the by-elections, but there is need to implement electoral reforms, which are not negotiable, to solve the governance crisis in Zimbabwe, Mahir said. We need to align our electoral laws to the constitution, and there is need for full disbandment of the partisan and militarized Zimbabwe Electoral Commission Secretariat. Dachimis's party lost the MDC headquarters, Morgan Stangerai House, and the funds that it is supposed to get through the political party's finances act to the Munzara faction, which claimed to be the legitimate MDC, and the courts ruled in its favor. Mwenzara's party also recalled MPs affiliated to the MDC alliance and has since replaced about 15 proportional representation seats with its MPs. About 133 parliamentary seats and council wards are now vacant after the recalls of MDC alliance MPs. Other vacancies were caused by the deaths of MPs and appointment of others to ambassadorial posts. The MDCT has since threatened to use the MDC Alliance name in the forthcoming elections, a situation which has now forced the MDC Alliance to think about changing its identity. MDC Alliance Deputy National Spokesperson Felix Magalela Mafa Sabanda said the party was ready to take part in any credible, legal, free and fair elections. By-elections were stage-managed by Munzara, a surrogate of ZANU-PF. It is going to be a humiliation to Munzara and his henchmen, Sabanda said. Munzara's MDCT also said it was ready to participate in the by-elections and reiterated they would use any of the MDC names that may come up. Munzara's spokesperson Loy Damba said the names MDCT and MDC Alliance were both theirs to use as electoral vehicles for different times, depending with the situation on the ground. So we are going to use any of the names, and no one outside of our party is allowed to use any of the above, he said. Our claim to the MDC Alliance name is not to spite anyone but is embedded in the history of the MDC name, of which the resolution was made on 27 July 2017, and the signing of the pact on 5 August 2017 in Zimbabwe grounds. Dot Coalition for Democrats, Code, Leader, Trust Chikahora who lost the 2018 presidential elections said his party would not contest the by-elections as they were a waste of time and resources. ZANU-PF spokesperson Chris Mitzvangwa said the democratic ethos of his party would lose no time to prepare for the by-elections as well as the 2023 polls. ZANU-PF has just finished its own internal provincial elections. To underscore the serious commitment, the party even held them during seasonal holidays on the annual calendar. The cadre ship and membership enthusiastically responded even as the other population partook in festivities, Mitzvangwa said.